California Academy of Science, I'm going to show you this uh, earthquake demonstration. It should be really cool. So let's go check out this mock-up of what happens during an earthquake in California. Not far from the San Andreas Fault, the site of two great quakes, 1906 and 1989. The fault stretches about 750 miles along California's coast, where the northward-moving Pacific Plate slides past the North American Plate. Old San Francisco was built on shifting dunes and steep hills. When the 1906 quake struck, nearly 300 miles of the fault ruptured. Buildings crumbled and the city caught fire. Following the tragedy, the urge to understand earthquakes led scientists to dig deeper into California's geology and to learn how people can live safely in a seismically active area. San Franciscans rebuilt with better structures, but met disaster again in 1989. This time, 25 miles of the fault rupture. Far fewer lives were lost, but homes built on sandy soil crumbled and part of the Bay Bridge collapsed. Today, scientists continue to learn about our dynamic Earth, developing new technologies, running simulations, even constructing buildings with movable foundations. The motion of tectonic plates has made San Francisco's coast dynamic and diverse, motion that continues now and into the future. Step inside one of these San Francisco homes to experience simulations of the 1906 and 1989 earthquakes. I want to do the second earthquake. You're more than welcome to stand with me over here. The floor does not move, but you can still see and hear everything that is going on. Please have one hand on a railing at all times, both feet flat on the floor, and if anyone needs me, I will be right over here. <laughs> San Francisco, a beautiful city with geology as diverse as its residents, a city famous for its rolling hills, summer fog, and earthquakes. Let's go back in time, October 17th, 1989. Excitement filled the air. Two local baseball teams, the Oakland Athletics and San Francisco Giants, were warming up for Game 3 of the World Series. At 5.04 p.m., live coverage had begun when the earthquake struck. <laughs> The Bay Bridge and roadways collapsed. Buildings crumbled and neighborhoods sank. We can't replicate the full force of the quake's upward and downward motions, but this simulation gives you a sense of what people experienced. 63 people died, nearly 4,000 injured, and thousands more left homeless. But the city's most famous earthquake packed a much bigger punch. Let's imagine San Francisco more than a hundred years ago. The city had grown rapidly since the gold rush. A population of 300 swelling to 400,000. Redwood forests provided cheap lumber for this building boom. April 18, 1906, 5.12 a.m. The city begins to work. The bigger one. Scary. The shaking lasted 90 seconds, three times longer than you just experienced. Wow. After the shaking stopped, a massive fire broke out, burning 28,000 buildings to the ground. 
More than 3,000 people died in the 1906 earthquake and fires, one of the greatest urban catastrophes of the time. Thousands more acres of old growth forest disappeared as the city rebuilt and rose from the ashes. We don't know when the next earthquake will take place, but we can all make choices to help ensure our safety when it does. Look around, what shifted during the quakes? <laughs> the pictures on the wall, the books and dishes, the chandelier above you, all could rattle loose during a timbler. In the next part of our exhibit, learn how people have adapted to life on shaky ground. Discover what you can do to prepare. All right, come on, exit out this way for me, please. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Fishbowl moved around a little bit. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.